All right, I'm gonna make this video short and sweet, but basically all we're doing is we are creating a custom RTMP server on the Mac, which will be in the description. So go ahead and download that first. And then we're gonna stream the drone to the Mac. So I did a video on Windows before, now we're gonna do Mac. So depending on what device you have, you're gonna go ahead and connect the cable. I have an Android, so I'm just gonna, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna push go fly. And this is the view so far. I'll make it a little better, just go over there. So this is the view right now. So what you're gonna need to do is launch up the RTMP server on your Mac. It's really easy to use. But first, what we're gonna do is we are going to connect to our personal hotspot. And so on the phone, we're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi, iPhone, which is my personal hotspot. Sorry, it's like a weird name, but there we go. And then we're gonna go on here. It'll be in the description. It'll be right here as well. It's gonna be RTMP colon your IP address slash live slash like whatever letter of the alphabet you wanna use or key. I found that the letter of an alphabet works best for me, just one. So apparently the app needed an update or the drone needed an update. So let's see if that fixes the problem. Okay, about 30 minutes later, the app updated and the drone updated. So let's go to transmission again. I'm not gonna show this because I don't wanna blur my IP address again. But it's gonna be the same process and let's see if it loads up this time. Same Wi-Fi, same everything. And there we go, we have a red icon. And there we go, finally. It just needed an update. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go into VLC. You're going to go to the network stream. So you're gonna go to file, open network, and then type in the URL that you already uploaded. So RTMP colon slash slash your IP address slash live slash key. I'm gonna put my phone down for a second. There you go. I'm trying not to get my IP address in the way, but you can clearly see we do have a signal. I'll pan across my laptop because the IP address is showing in the bottom as well. But this is the signal. Now we're going to OBS. You can go ahead and minimize this, by the way. Now, just like in the other video, if you do have a 32-bit version of OBS installed and a 64-bit ver version of VLC or vice versa, it will not work. You need to have 64-bit, 64-bit, or 32-bit and 32-bit. That will show up, okay? So once OBS launches, I will show you the process. Now that we are in OBS, we're gonna go here. And I already have a VLC source, so we're just going to push add. VLC source, you can clearly see it. Add existing, whatever. I'll just add existing because I already have one, but you guys can create a new one. Oh, geez, what I just do? You know what? I'm just gonna create a new one with you guys. So I'll create a new scene. I'll call this drone. Then I will go here, I'll go VLC. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. Always play even when not visible. Plus, add path or URL and do the same thing you added into the drone app and the VLC. I'll see you then. Once you're done, push OK and there we go. We have our live feed. Now I'm in the studio mode. But we can go ahead and transition this and boom, we have a feed. This is pretty amazing, guys, because now you can, you're probably just wondering, why on earth do I need this if I could just live stream from the drone? Well, you can add overlays such as display captures, images. You can add scenes, text, everything. You can even add viewer accounts from Streamlabs and put it in here. That will be done in another video. But you can put the browser, images, everything. And that's what I like about this because you can add overlays. You can even add a face cam. So you can have the remote controller and this. There is a little bit of delay, I will be honest, but it is not significant. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Once again, just to recap what we went over, we did here. We typed in the RTMP address through the server on the Mac. Then we went to VLC, typed it in again. Then we opened up OBS through the 64-bit and 64-bit and boom, we have a VLC video source in OBS with the live drone feed. So that's gonna be it, guys. 
Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.